Let's bring in Carl Higby, Christopher Harmer, and Morgan Ortegas back. Christopher, let me start with you. Um, uh, yeah, I, I know a lot of people saying that they can't find a, a lot of at least video proof that Donald Trump was against this, but I was shocked to hear that at least at one point, very near the war, he was for it. I, I wasn't shocked at all. If you take any position, Donald Trump is on every side of it, depending on what point in history he's on that uh, topic and, and where the political winds are blowing. I mean, he said, we didn't do the first Gulf War correctly. I have no idea what that means. I asked Donald Trump supporters, what does it mean we didn't do the first Gulf War correctly? He doesn't have the first idea what he's talking about. If you look at the history of the first Gulf War, President Bush Sr. Uh, and General Schwarzkopf and Powell did, or did, did a great job. Nobody disputes that. Now he's saying it was done incorrectly. 2002, he says he's in favor of the war. Now he says in 2003 he was against the war, but there's no evidence of it. The last point I'd like to make is he accused President Bush directly of lying about WMD. He said they lied. There were no WMD. They knew there were no WMD. I don't understand how Trump supporters can rectify that type of just omnidirectional hatred right. of everything we've well, done up to this. Let me bring in a Trump supporter. basis for Let it. me bring in a Trump supporter, Carl Higby. Carl, you you you, you just heard what uh, Chris had to say. What would you say uh, to some of the things he just mentioned? Well, look, I guess so is not exactly an endorsement of war, and that was prior to the war. That was prior to Congress saying anything about going to war. So you know, since the war started, he was against the war. He's always been. They say, look. The networks have, have covered the one time he said, I guess so, to Howard Stern, hardly a political pundit on, on issues like this. But then, then they take the hundred times. But it was a serious day. It was a solemn day. It was the anniversary of 9-11. Oh, yeah. and, and there was talk of war in the country. By the way, at that point, the country was about 75% in favor of a war. I mean, you had Colin Powell. He did this presentation. The, the Congress had to vote on it. Everyone was sort of okay with it. So, it, it, I mean, I guess so to me means if someone says, hey, Charlie, you want me to buy you a soda? I say, oh, I guess so. They're going to come back with a soda. It is an affirmation. It wasn't the yeah. greatest affirmation, but it wasn't a no. I guess so is what you say to a soda or, hey, can your kid take the car? I guess so. You don't, it, it's, it's not an actual person. But he's of the using, war. he's saying that his opposition to it made him, makes him presidential. But so, you, you know, so, so can he have it both ways? I think his conviction to that makes him presidential. What makes Donald Trump so attractive is his heart and soul that he puts into everything that he says. He means what he but says. But you just said that statement was kind of was kind of flaky, though. Yeah, on on Howard Stern, I guess so. I mean, that is not a statement. Could he have maybe even not heard what Howard Stern said? He didn't even remember that he said that, to be honest. What do you think, Morgan? Well, listen, for, for once, I'm going to actually agree with my friend here about Mr. Trump, who I have not, not been a supporter of, as everyone knows. I, I don't, you know, I, I saying I guess so, I don't really see that as, as saying, yes, I'm supportive of the war going on. But the point is, Was though, it a no? But it doesn't matter. He could have said on Howard Stern, yes, I'm 100 percent for the war, and everyone who supports him would still support him. It doesn't matter. Franklin has said this in every focused group he's done. He has said that he's for partial birth abortion. He said he's for single-payer mandate. He said the most liberal positions and the people who support him don't care that he's completely right, flip-flopped on everything. Well, let's leave it there. It we got.